Hey guys, welcome to Investing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we let's discuss how do I prepare myself for an automation in, in testing interview. In this video, we will discuss couple of important questions also in the end uh, that I have uh, written in the right hand side, right? And I'm going to discuss about how to prepare properly, okay? And how I personally do it. I'm going to discuss this all the things in this video, okay? So let's get started. uh whenever you are giving the automation testing interview right uh this is really important because uh be ready this is uh, okay this is little bit big be ready for the programming question and uh, many times uh, my students were asking me and many times this question uh, has been asked on the uh, youtube channel also i am going for an automation in automation testing interview but uh, should i prepare for programming programming also because i am preparing only with the selenium and cypress so this is uh, now to clarify you if you are giving an automation testing interview people will ask the programming question this is this is important and trust me they will Okay, so be ready with the programming questions, and you have to do some of the practice on the hacker earth, hacker rank, or lead code. Make sure you are prepared well before giving the interview. Okay, so this is really important. And uh, many times people basically ignore this thing, but no, please uh, be ready, be ready with the programming questions. Okay, uh, that is my advice to you guys. Uh, again. Uh, which is this thing is really important which is be ready for the fundamental and core tools questions core tool question basically means to questions only related to selenium questions only related to cypress questions only related to the library of rest assured for example if you are giving for apis so be ready for, for those because that that i have personally taken many interviews right so those things be ready for that uh, again uh, the third point is focus on the automation side of it framework side of it you, if you have experience of 3 plus years we are expecting you to have a knowledge of framework you have to know like how scalability works uh, how to make it more generic in nature how you manage your test data how you rip, how to basically report uh, how is your report is there in your automation framework how you how you are creating a reliable automation framework how your uh, test scripts are less plicky in nature right how you are doing that so you should be aware and prepare well in mindset in in your mind or probably you should have a answer for these questions okay so make sure you do that uh, uh generally i'll discuss the test automation strategies uh, it basically means uh, how will you what kind of thing you will automate what you will not automate which tool you will use what will be your reporting manager uh, reporting i mean not reporting manager what will be your reporting how you will be running into jenkins uh, it's a tag based what how you're managing your test data and many more things okay so those things strategies i will be discussing it and all the things that i'm talking about right they are already available on the testing academy channel of uh, youtube you can go through the videos uh, to for automation in G, uh, automation interview questions where i have discussed about the framework and other things okay okay uh they will they will they can ask you question related to how do you develop as well as maintain your scripts okay from scratch those things are really important for you guys to make sure you are prepared well so my point is prepare well for these questions okay know the topics uh, okay so let me know the topics i think this is uh, this is mentioned many many times uh make sure uh, you, in web as a web tester point of view you should know selenium cypress playwright api testing playwright is optional of course of course uh you should be aware about the framework right uh, about the frameworks frame uh, and how you are basically handling the scalability reporting automation your infra your test automation strategy which tool you are using your automation coverage so all these are really important and all these uh, related things are all i have already discussed so make sure you are prepared well ci cd related things uh, make sure you have, you know jenkins docker git related information core java be ready with it uh, docker browser stack and grid related things are be ready for with this these kind of stuff okay so they, uh, this is really important now move to the important point about the how do i prepare right which is really important okay so preparing guideline i think uh, again don't uh, don't focus too much on the tools i think uh, what people are making the mistake is they are only preparing with selenium and they are missing the core uh, automation strategy things like they do, they are missing the scalability part of it so those things you have to take care okay uh, don't to don't be too focus on the tools uh, be ready for these questions like uh, what are the things that you are going to automate right uh, 
uh, these things are really important. For example, you will be automating the regression suite, smoky test, build deployment, test data creation, uh, automating the behind the scene like GUI apps and other things. So you can see that these are the things I will be automating. So yeah. Uh, let's jump to the couple of important questions and these are really really important so pay attention make sure you watch it uh, the first one is basically what would be the my first step if you are starting from the scratch what you will do so this uh, in for example if someone asks you this question okay so I am we have a Flipkart related similar to Flipkart website what you will do so you need to tell them that first I will identify the type of uh, testing that you guys are doing as well as what you want to automate. I will basically work on my tool. I will basically design the framework. I will create a utility and environmental files. I will start scripting, identify the work and reporting and uh, allocate time for enhancing and maintaining the script. So this is this will I will be doing it. Uh, another question is how do you decide which tool you have to use? Uh, I think this is really important. I will brainstorm this with the team. I will do POCs. I will do some data driven decision based on it. So this is really important and you have to answer this in this manner. Uh, what is framework? I think this is a very silly question. Many times people ask you it is just a set of structure of your entire automation suite. Uh, it's, these are just guidelines that you have to follow so that you are following uh, your code is not duplicate. You are rely it's more reliable. You can uh, basically use templates and all the things in your framework. So you can go through this diagram. It should be a reliable. It should be a generic in nature. There are work, working template application can be modified uh, with the additional code. So those things are really uh, are the what is framework. You can see that. Okay. Very silly question. Many people ask this criteria for automation framework. This is many times people ask you uh, uh, the criteria is basically how it is. Uh, you are able to develop it and maintain it. Uh, can a known technical people are can contribute to it and they can understand it they can execute it uh, does your tool support different type of platform like web mobile uh, those things uh, does the test uh, does the tool have the test reporting functionality reporting right the cbt it supports the cross browser testing or not De how many different types of testing your uh, tools basically those supports how many language does your tool or your framework supports i think this is this will be one but you have to take care of all the things in mind Explain your automation framework. I think I have created one video which is very, very important uh, where I have discussed about the how this framework structure. Uh, right. Uh, so this is basically you will have a Maven project. You have a test NG. You have a reporting mechanism, your Selenium test cases, how you have maintained the page object model. What are the utilities reportings and how you are basically accessing the object and different driver. All the things I have explained in the video. So you can watch this and explain. This is re this is the important test, uh, the important, uh, very, very important uh, question for your automation testing interview. Okay. And the last one is how do you handle your flaky test case? Uh, these are the two resources uh, that you can go through it. This uh, slide uh, is available in PDF. You can check it out. So for flaky test case, I think you can uh, what you can do is you can do instrumentation. Basically log your whatever the logs that you are getting. You just note it down and also you can add some analytics also how, how many times this test case is failing or uh, what we have tried is basically we have created a separate suit of flaky test and we try to rerun and again check it out that you can do you can do try out reruns in test ngs for the flaky test so you can give this answer also okay so yeah this was a high level overview uh, of the how to how do you prepare for an automation so again just reiterating in the conclusion know the topics we'll go through the basics of the videos basic videos prepare well for the programming uh, just watch out the couple of questions that I am discussing, right? And work base. If you have experience of three plus years, make sure uh, you uh, you have the answer for the frameworks, scalability, CI/CD related code answers. Okay, so make sure you are preparing well for this. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any question. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.